literally from the start of, of working at P&G, which I worked for for four years, and then Bain, where I worked for seven years, the consulting firm, every day, you know, part, part of my brain was thinking, what am I going to do to run, you know, what is the business I'm going to do? And I always knew that I was in maybe the second best job at Bain & Company, but it wasn't the best thing I, I could do. And so I was at Bain, and um, I, I was struck by the fact that the food that I was eating daily, either travelling or from the office, was um, making me fall asleep and wake up fat. And that was basically the type of food that was available. I thought that you know, there is nothing in the word fast nor in the word food that means that fast food has to be bad for you. And so, you know, what someone said to me once, you know, if you want to have a big business, uh, solve a big problem. But I could write probably more books on the the failures that we've had than I could write books about the successes. I think that um, I think the thing to do is to not is to try not to focus on those too much and to understand, you know, to keep an eye on where you're going. And I think that when we are most successful, it is when we are absolutely focused. It's when the the people running the business are delving deep into the detail in the most important areas. And I think that the one thing that we try and remind ourselves of every time is there are going to be some things that we delegate in the business and there are going to be some things that we are all over like a rash. And I think that it's very easy when people watch The Apprentice or uh, Dragon's Den, they think that being an entrepreneur is about bright lights and parties. And I think fundamentally it's about doing the detail grunt work. And I think that if you're, if you're A, focusing on the right thing and you'll be doing the most detailed grunt work yourself and being getting stuck into that, I think that's probably the biggest recipe for success. I have a great friend who um, called uh, JP who... Uh, who talks about the fact that, you know, when he dies, he wants to, you know, uh, be there in heaven with the big cigar and thinking, wow, what a ride. And I think that there is something uh, at the end of the day when we all sit there after we put the kids to bed uh, where we want to have uh, been a good captain of the ship for that day.